Starting off with the HS129, look at the engine gauges which are actually on the engine with a tachometer, a fuel gauge, oil temperature gauge, split fuel and oil pressure gauge, and hydraulic pressure. This is duplicated on the other engine for that as well. Coming inside, we've got the navigation lights. Then the red lever is our boost control switch. This is what you'll turn to the on position before takeoff and then disengage it after takeoff. Next to that is the mixture control. You've got stop, normal, rich, and the start positions for all of that. The yellow handle is the throttle. Pushing forward is increasing it and back is decreasing. We've got a fuel lever next to that. Moving up a little bit, we've got the fuel shutoff levers, as well as instrument lights and cockpit lights. Coming up and to the left, we've got the rudder trim, which will go to the left and to the right. And above that is the elevator trim. Now getting forward, we're going to have a look at the main panel. Got the magnetos up on the left. Electrical cutoff switch and our ammunition counters. Now, underneath the ammo counters, we've got our propeller pitch controls, which are highlighted with the box. Important thing to note about this is that if you want to feather the engines, you need to have them in manual control mode. And we can switch between manual and automatic with that switch there. You can also adjust your pitch using these buttons here, and that'll change your RPM accordingly. And the button to feather the propellers is right there. Getting into our instruments, we've got our altimeter, airspeed indicator, landing gear position indicator, the homing indicator, cockpit heating lever, radio frequency switch and selector, emergency canopy release, a repeater compass, a turn and bank indicator, manifold pressure, weapon arming panel, the clock, and your bomb position lights. Coming over to the right, we can see our vertical speed indicator in meters per second, with the landing gear handle, and our flaps controls. Pushing it to the start brings us what we use on takeoff. Otherwise, it's going to be after extend and forward to retract. Now I'm going to start the engine, but while we start it, I'm going to have the pilot's notes available for you to have a look at. Now the engines are started, we can go back inside and start the taxi, the HS129, to the runway. To take off from the HS129, we're going to require the boost, so we're going to set that to the on position. This will increase our maximum manifold pressure we can use. Then we'll set the mixture to rich, prop pitch to manual, flaps to the start position. At 150 km per hour we're going to rotate, 200 we're going to have the flaps up, and 210 will be our climb airspeed. Then we'll switch the boost off and prop pitch you can use on auto or you can adjust it for the max continuous setting. So there we set our boost to on, mixture is at rich, our propeller pitch will set that to manual, Coming over towards the flaps, set them to the start position, and then we'll be ready for takeoff. I'm going to show you how to do a standing takeoff in this. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to increase the power, and we're going to watch the RPM come up. We're going to let it come up to around 1500 RPM, and we're going to check that it's stable on both sides, and we're holding the brakes to make sure we don't move. So, now the RPM is stable on both sides, we can then look down release the brakes, 
will start rolling. Now the 129 has a tendency to pull to the left, especially if you add too much power too fast. So make sure you're nice and smooth in your application of power to maximum. Now the power is about the maximum now, so we can start lowering the nose by adding a little bit of forward pressure on the stick and bring the tail wheel off the ground. I'm going to rotate at 150 km per hour. Positive rate of climb, so we bring the landing gear up and we can continue our climb. Once we get ourselves about 100 meters of altitude underneath us, we can start accelerating to 200 km per hour. We can focus on bringing the flaps up. Now the flaps have come up, we turn the boost off. We'll be at our climb speed at 210 km per hour. You can climb an automatic, but it's not as efficient, you'll be in combat power all the time because auto control maintains combat RPM. Right? So what I would recommend in the climb and in cruise is to use manual propeller pitch control. This way you can adjust the max continuous RPM and save your combat power when you're actually in combat. To begin with landing the just 129 you can have the propeller pitch set on downwind to so either automatic or manual, depending on your preference. You get your airspeed below 280 km per hour, at which point you can extend the landing gear. By the end of downwind, your airspeed will be around 220 km per hour, and then you're going to set the flaps to the start position. As you turn base to final, you can begin extending your flaps fully using an approach speed of 190 km per hour. So as we're lining up and downwind, we're going to keep it in manual control for a little while and then adjust the power to make sure that we stay below 280 km per hour. So once you blow the airspeed and you're ready, you can bring the landing gear down. This will add the extra drag and help slow down the airplane even more. As usual, maintaining constant position on the runway based on my altitude and distance. I'm going to switch the propeller pitch to automatic at this point, just to show the difference in how the combat RPM is maintained on approach. And we're at the end of downwind, we bring the flaps to the start position, and we're going to begin our base to final turn. Start increasing the amount of flats we're using all the way to maximum. We're going to hold our approach speed about 190 kilometers per hour. It's got our aiming point picked out on the runway. We're going to keep descending towards it, adjusting our power and pitch as we need it. There's always just a nice gentle touch. Towards our aiming point and start reducing the power slowly. Bring it up to the three point position and cut the power as we touch down. I'm going to hold full back pressure and then add some brakes to bring the airplane to a stop. Then, once the airplane's out of stop, you're going to retract the flaps and begin taxiing to wherever you're going to park. That completes the familiarization video for the 129. Let me know if you liked it by using the like button in the comments below. And don't forget to be a subscriber to see more videos as they're released.